everyone. My name is Kenny and welcome to theme class. So today I'm so excited to start our brand new theme. This is a theme that I think is really fun and I think you'll like it too. Do you know what our theme is this time? It's animals. Yeah, so we learn about animals every year, right? We learn about zoo animals and different types of animals, but this year in Saplings One, we're gonna learn about animal classifications. That's a big word. Let's say it again, animal classifications. But what's a classification? It's the type of animal, but not something like dog or cat, but how those fit together. We're gonna learn about six different animal classifications. That's a lot. So this time we're gonna learn about three and next time we'll learn about the other three. So what can we do? You can say, I can learn animal classifications. One more time, I can learn animal classifications. So animals, they're all around us. We see them every day, both in our house, outside, at the zoo, on the TV. There are so many places we can see different animals. Do you have a favorite animal? I have two. My favorite animals are monkeys and whale sharks. So I think you can tell just by looking, these two animals don't look the same. And actually they're completely different classifications. Let's see if we can figure out what kind of classification a monkey is and what kind of classification a whale shark is by the time we finish learning all these new things. All right, so let's get started. The first classification that I wanna talk about is one that's really special. Why? Because this is what we are. Did you know people are animals too? Well, we are. And our classification is mammals. So what makes something a mammal? Well, for every classification, there are different rules that the animal has to follow to be decided that it's in that classification. So here are some of the important things that make an animal a mammal. Well, first of all, it's warm blooded. You can see there's a picture of a man here because like I said, people are mammals. What does it mean to be warm blooded? Well, we can go outside, right? When it's hot, but we can also go outside when it's cold. Sometimes we shiver a little bit or we feel very hot, but our body can get warmer or cooler. When you get really, really hot, you start to sweat and that makes your body get a little colder or whenever you're so cold, you start to shiver and that makes your body get a little warmer. Warm blooded means that your body temperature can change by itself. We can't only get warm if we're in the sun or only get cold if we're in a shady spot. Our body can kind of change its temperature depending on what it needs. So that's the first way we know if an animal is a mammal. Next, if they have fur or hair. So a lot of animals have fur, things like tigers or lions, zebras, dogs, cow. Fur is kind of a really fluffy kind of thing that we like to pet on an animal, but some animals like horses or people have what we consider hair. Either way, that is one way that we know something is a mammal. Next, give birth to live young. Well, do you have a little brother or a little sister? I don't, I'm the youngest in my family, but I'm sure you've seen a baby before. People don't come out of eggs, right? They come out of mommy's tummy. And that's how you know something is a mammal. Mammals give birth to babies. If it's a person, you get a cute little baby like this. But if you have something like a dog, maybe you'll get a puppy. Giving birth to live young means that the baby comes out not from an egg, but from mommy. Also, we feed babies milk. That's another way we know something is a mammal. Now, when we think of mammals, we think of things like dogs or cats, giraffes, lions, but some mammals live on the land. 
and some mammals live in the water. So, for example, dun, 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 dun. what are these? They're dolphins. Did you know a dolphin is the same classification as us, a mammal? They are not fish. Why? Because they don't breathe water, they breathe air. Sometimes you can see dolphins jumping out of the water, right? They have to take a break from swimming, just like we do, to breathe some air. Other mammals that live in the water might be whales. Those are really big mammals. Or a hippo, better known as a hippopotamus, maybe. So lots of different animals can be mammals. Can you think of something that's a mammal? Hmm, I know, a monkey is a mammal. Why? Well, warm-blooded, they have fur. Have you ever seen a tiny baby monkey? They're so cute. They drink mommy's milk and they live on the land. A monkey is a mammal. All right, let's look at our next classification. Next, let's look at birds. Now birds are a bit easier to identify because it's pretty easy to tell what kind of animal is a bird because their features are so distinct or easy to see. Birds, like people and other mammals, are warm-blooded. And unlike mammals, they come from an egg. There are many different types of bird eggs, but bird eggs are usually hard eggs that the babies crack, crack, crack open when they're ready to come out. Birds also all have feathers. Now these feathers can look very different, but here is an example of one kind of feather. I wonder, can you guess what bird this is? It's a parrot. Also, all birds have wings. Now, pay attention. It says birds have wings, not that birds can fly. Not all birds can fly, but as long as they're warm-blooded, hatch from eggs, have feathers, and have wings, it's still a bird. For example, a chicken. A chicken has feathers and wings, lays eggs, but it can't fly. Same with an ostrich. An ostrich is a really big bird, but it can't fly either. And I bet you can think of one more bird that can't fly. It moves a little like this and it's so cute. Do you know what bird I'm thinking of? A penguin. So don't forget, just because it can't fly doesn't mean it's not a bird. All right, let's learn about our last classification for today. Now let's talk about insects. <gasps> this is one that maybe some people really like, but other people don't like so much. Now insect is a little bit trickier because when we think of insects, we often think of bugs. Well, of course, bugs are insects, but not every bug is an insect. There are actually some very strict rules that tell us which ones are insects. Well, let's look here. <gasps> cold-blooded. That's a little different from mammals and birds. So something that's cold-blooded means it can't change its temperature on its own. When an animal that's cold-blooded wants to get warm, they need to go somewhere sunny. Or if they need to be cooler, they need to go somewhere where there's not any sun. So they use the environment to regulate or change their temperature not doing it on their own like people can. Now, insects are made of three different body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Let's look at this ant to see if we can find those three parts. This is the head. The part in the middle is the thorax, and the part at the back is the abdomen. So all insects have these three body parts. They also have six legs. Now this is an easy way to tell if something is an insect or not. Let's look at this ant and count its legs. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Perfect. Six legs shows that it's an insect. Now let's think about a spider. Do you think a spider is an insect? No, a spider has eight legs, so it can't be an insect. Insects also have two antennae. Those are this part on the top of their head. They help them be able to tell what's going on in the world. They also have a hard exoskeleton. Exoskeleton, now that's a big word, but what does it mean? Well, first let's think about what a skeleton is. We often talk about skeletons at Halloween, but actually skeletons are just the bones inside of our body. People and many other classifications have bones inside their body. An exoskeleton means bones that are outside the body. Have you ever found a cicada shell? Have you ever found a cicada shell? Well, that's the exoskeleton that got left behind from the insect. That just means that the hard part that protects their body is on the outside instead of the inside. Also, they lay eggs. Well, we've learned a lot about these three classifications. Can we remember, is it about a mammal, an insect, or a bird? So mammal, bird, let's make some more space, or insect. Well, let's start with these. Hmm, which one lives on the land or in the water? Do you remember? This here is a hint. They're mammals. Oh, which one hatches from an egg? Well, more than one hatch from an egg, but which one has a hard shell like this that they crack, crack, crack when they're ready to come out? A bird. Which one has fur or hair? Well, it's one just like us, a mammal. How about warm-blooded? Well, we have two that are warm-blooded, but let's look at our clue here. It's a person. What classification is a person? A mammal. <gasps> Feed milk to their babies. Do you know which one this is? Right, it's a mammal too. <gasps> which one has feathers? Hmm, is it mammals, birds, insects? What do you think? Birds <gasps> have wings. Which ones have wings? Well, that's a little bit tricky because I definitely know some insects with wings, but let's look at our clue. It's a bird. Six legs. Which classification has six legs? The insects. How about a hard exoskeleton? Do you remember what exoskeleton means? A skeleton that's outside of the body. Do birds have a skeleton outside of their body? No, but insects do. <gasps> How about cold-blooded? <gasps> well, this one's warm-blooded. Are birds cold-blooded? No, insects. How about give birth to live young. Which one do you think? That's right, mammals. <gasps> da, 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 da. Have two antenna. What do we think? Insects. <gasps> lay eggs. Oh, well, we know that birds lay eggs, but look at this little tiny egg on the leaf. 
which one lays tiny little eggs like this? Insects do. Da -da -da -da. <gasps> warm blooded. Which classification is warm blooded? Birds are warm blooded. <gasps> and last one, which one has three body parts? A head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Insects do. Wow, look at all the things we learned today. All right, before we go, let's see if we can think of an example of all of these classifications. Can you think of an animal that is a mammal? Something that has fur and has live babies? Hmm, I know, hamsters. Hamsters are mammals. I have two hamsters and they are very, very cute. Can you think of another animal that would be a mammal? Hmm, something that can live on the land or water, has fur, gives milk. Hmm, a giraffe. A giraffe would be a mammal. All right, can we think of some birds? Can you think of an example of a bird? I like doves. They're beautiful white birds. A dove is a bird. Can you think of another one? Can you remember any of our birds that have wings but can't fly? Penguins one. We also talked about ostriches and chickens. And there are also flamingos. Those are beautiful pink birds that can't fly. Now, what about an insect? Can you think of any insects? Well, I like this one, ladybugs. <gasps> I can think of another insect that goes <gasps> a bee. Wow, we thought of so many animals, but we still have three more classifications left. So we're gonna talk about those next time. Thank you guys so much. See you.